Yeah, hey there, Micah. There are nearly 30 oil rigs operating off of the coast of California. Most of those oil rigs are in federal waters. However, three of them that are still operating are in state waters, and all three of those are off of the Orange County coast. But now a state senator has a bill that's trying to shut those rigs down. These offshore rigs pose much more risk to our coastline than they're worth. The amount of oil they produce does not justify the omnipresent risk they pose to our $44 billion coastal economy. State Senator Dave Min says last year's oil spill off of Huntington Beach prompted him to write Senate Bill 953. While that spill happened on an oil rig in federal waters, Min's bill targets shutting down the three remaining operating rigs that are in state waters, platforms Eva, Emmy, and Esther, which are all in Orange County. To do that, the state would offer to buy the companies running the three platforms out of their leases by making an offer based on their worth minus the cost of decommissioning. Let's just say the market value of the lease was $100 million. We subtract $92 million from that, and there's $8 million that we then pay them. Now, while there are a lot of supporters for this bill, there's also a lot of opposition. Some, as you touched on at the top, believe this could end up costing taxpayers a lot of money if we take over some of those rigs and the decommissioning costs go a lot higher than what was originally negotiated with the current leasees. The state and the taxpayers could be on the hook for those extra costs. Some also say that if you take away the oil from some of these rigs, then we bring in more imported oil, and you might look at some of the big barges carrying oil having a problem or having a spill, and that could cause issues as well. Senator Men doesn't think that's an issue because he says these offshore rigs don't produce enough oil to be that significant of an impact on our supply side of things. Now, the bill itself, it just made itself, it's made it out of its first committee. However, it's got a long way to go before it would get to a signature by the governor probably later this year if it gets that far in the legislature. For now, reporting live in Huntington Beach, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.